unfortunately for me, sounds like it's time to start packing. As you can see, I just woke up, by the way. I'm tired. So the plan now, and I think is the first step you should do, or I should do, because that's what I'm doing, is to just write down the essential stuff, but I will start with clothing. Okay, so I made a little list of the main stuff. So now I can like check what I have, what I need to buy. That's pretty much the idea. I don't know if it's a smart idea. We'll figure it out. Start with jeans. What is this? What is the black one? What the fuck is it? Obviously someone stole it from my thing. Like I say that people steal my stuff when I cannot find it. And the black one, what is it? here yes and let's take these out because I'll bring also these suit pants blue, blue pants for sure they don't fit bad I bring this I think with six pair of long pants um done I forgot, but I have two more pants that I'm bringing. This one is like a Simmel jeans. It's not a jeans material, but it's like super comfy and super fresh for the summer. And it's long. I ended up using this pretty much every day <laughs> that I had to wear long pants during the summer. This one, I need to go to the tailor, but I have this other pant. Like fancy looking is like more suit, more elegant style. But this color is beautiful and it's a little bit like I don't know, large in the bottom and it looks amazing. Now t-shirts. We have a lot of white t-shirts. I would say that I need like five white shirts because I use them every day. Some black shorts. I think I need three of black shorts. No colors. I'm bringing no colors, I think. Like, why should I bring colors? Why should I bring colors? Let's talk about hoodies. I think I'll bring just one or two. Then there is these, like, vest that I love. We have another black hoodie, I forgot about it. Let's talk about sweaters. I already put one of my vest there because it's scrumptious and I want to wear it this time. If you want to bring any of them, I think I'll need a list of you. I love this white one. Like this black one is destroyed. Let's let's say that I will not bring this one. Now the hard part. I have to choose what to bring as a jacket first. I for sure will bring this one because it's heavy. It looks amazing. Pull it up. And it's, it's actually so cool with some jeans and like a normal white t-shirt so for sure this one that is a normal suit jacket and it's so cool but i don't know i will have to think i also like this one the right piece of clothing it's perfect probably used it like twice so i should not bring this because in the fancy san francisco this will fucking rock there is this one that just came down and it's very casual. This is very like easy, casual, normal, every day. I should bring this one. It's been an hour. I completely forgot about this jacket. This is coming. This is old money style. It's beautiful. It's perfect. I'm switching this with this one. Like I'm not bringing this one. Now it's time to talk about shoes. And it's one of the hardest part because they take so much space. For sure, these. And maybe. I love this one, but they are old. I would love to bring them because I love the color in the like autumn and winter. They like add so much style. They look good. They take out so much space. I would like to bring them, but then I definitely would like to bring a pair of like vans just to destroy them, but these are already a bit destroyed, but I think I'll bring them. And I need a pair of white shoes. These was useless. I have no clue of what to bring. Let's take a second to talk about nice shirt. 
The real problem in all of this is that I'm used to wear a lot of shorts. I really, really don't like to iron them. So last year I ended up not using them until I strictly had to. I was also bringing them to be cleaned and ironed and washed. Do I really want to waste my money like that? For sure, I need to bring at least one white shirt and blue one bottom up. Classical, super normal color, just to wear them with suits, nice pants and nice events, etc. I would love to bring some cool stuff, some stylish one, but I really don't want to iron them, so I don't know if I will use them. I like this one, it's beautiful. This one. A little more fun, vintage, like this one. The problem is that, would I iron them? Probably not. One thing that they definitely have to bring is a tote bag. This one is my favorite. I'm looking for a heavy jacket, like sort of like everyday stuff and heavy weather. I could bring this one. It looks great. I love it. Option two is this one. Definitely more oversized, more comfortable. I bought this one for 10 bucks at Goodwill last year when I was in Cali. I don't know, I feel like I'm dumb if I'm bringing this, but it's one coat. And then maybe this one for like extra layer. just realized today that I just had like seven days and then I'm leaving. Actually, and I'm leaving in the morning, so I have just six days. And I have, tomorrow I have my last job. I have to take a picture of a wedding. I will have a few others for filming my trainers. That's not too exhausting. And I'll be able to just focus on the little stuff and enjoy my time with my people. New day, and as you can see, I packed. I packed, not completely, but like, I made the decision that I would use a big luggage and just these small one. With all of this, is just to not waste space with all these shoes. Because these shoes in particular, like the big one, or like hiking boots that are huge, it's hard to make them fit in these kind of luggages without losing space. I just want to pack small. No, I will have to move and be flexible and having too much clothing and too much luggages, it's gonna be a pain. I know maybe I'm wrong, but I like the idea of trying to pack small. This is not small, this is a lot of stuff. I have like, look how many shoe I have. Here I packed all the pants, here all the shirts and t-shirts. In this, big boy. I packed all the jackets. Here I have my hoodies and here are my sweaters. And I have still space here for like beauty case and all that kind of stuff. All of these is like without any vacuum bag. I'm thinking about not using them just for the same reason as I told you before. I really don't want to overpack. But also because I will be without a house so I will be a guest the first few days. So I will be leaving out of my uh, suitcase. If I vacuum my clothes, that will be a pain. This one, I put all the shoes that I'm bringing and I have all the space that I can use for like a tripod or all other long stuff. And this bag has like these big side pockets. I want to complete this packing video before closing everything because I will actually like complete it the last day <laughs> and I don't want to have to edit this video and then a video about the actual departure. This is like the big sum up of what I'm bringing and then I think in the next video I will also talk about the little details. Before ending this video let me just read to you a few things that I wrote down that I have to remember before leaving because maybe you need them too. First of all, cash. You need some cash. Double check all the documents. <laughs> okay, makes sense. In particular for these kind of travels with visa involved, make sure you have everything, every receipt of payments for the visa process, everything that could be helpful for you to protect yourself if something happened during the, like, at the border 
So to prove them that you are eligible to get in the country, I want to be prepared and I want to have every document possible. I put all the document that I need in a safe cloud. So I wrote down, pay the shipping for my broken camera because they still have to send it back. Done. If you are a video maker or someone like me, make sure you empty all of these beautiful SSDs. I found a provider in US for my internet and phone plan. So I have to purchase it. I purchased the SIM and set it all up. It should be easy. So that's why I'm postponing, but I definitely decided which one I want. I'm okay with the price. So I have to do it in the next few days. Then send money to my American account. Yeah, so the first thing I want to do is to buy a car. That means that I need the money in my American account. Oh, buy batteries for AirTag. Medicine, this is something that I have never done, but I'm planning to do this time. So I actually just asked the doctor today to provide me with a receipt, recipe, recipe. I don't know how it's called in English, but anyway, the papers to allow me to get all the antibiotics and uh, painkillers or whatever that I need. And I don't want to have to find a doctor in US if I have just a little fever or a little thing. And then I have to send some money on my main Italian car because all my subscription are linked to that one. I don't want to switch it. So I want to make sure I have at least a few hundreds or thousand on these main card for subscription so I don't have to send me money again. Just to conclude this one and move on so I can focus on my last week here. See you in the next one and yeah, I'm leaving in the next one. We are catching a flight. Ciao.